Phil's Kitchen. So today I'm back with an amazing recipe and it's all about butternut squash soup. So I'm, say, I'm saying it slowly because I tend to have a problem with saying, with pronouncing this and sh you know I'm from those sides of the country and Nyanza where we have a problem of things and sh So in any case I show up in the middle of this. Just bear with me, you know, you know. Anyway, so the reason I'm making this recipe is because um, last week I made a French baguette and I went to my Instagram, I had like a small poll and I asked you guys about what can you serve with the French baguettes and everyone was like they want uh, butternut squash soup, they like uh, pumpkin soup so I decided to make the butternut squash soup and, and here we are guys so I hope you like the recipe. To get started, I'm using one medium butternut squash, but before we get to that, some of my favorite things I like about this recipe is that it's very healthy, easy and quick to make. It makes a great lunch or dinner and better served with some baguettes. So the first thing is to peel the butternut squash. What you will do is just remove the top and the bottom part. Then we'll go ahead and remove the seeds from the butternut squash. Just use your spoon to remove the seeds. The thing I like about this is that you can take the seeds, store them, don't throw them away. You can store them. Uh, first thing, you just dry them and then you roast them. You'll use it to top your soup. Peeling butternut is so hard, so just make sure you have a very sharp knife and be careful when you're peeling it. Once you're done peeling, then we're going to cut it into smaller chunks. Just make sure you cut them almost the same size. And then after this, we'll put them in a bowl and go to our next step where we'll start cooking. To get cooking, add one tablespoon of oil on your pan that is over a medium heat. Then add one medium sized white onion that is diced. Then cook it for a minute while stirring. Next we will add one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Stir that well while cooking for one minute and then to my next part I'm adding three cloves of garlic, one teaspoon of fresh rosemary and one teaspoon of ginger. Stir again for one minute. At this point everything is smelling really really good and this adds more flavor to your soup. Once everything is cooked and nicely brown, we are going to add our butternut squash in bits. Stir it well, make sure everything is nicely mixed. Then we are going to add 1 cup of water and 1 cup of coconut milk. Coconut cream is just a save for this recipe because it makes it more creamier and very tasty and very flavorful guys. So I'm just stirring it and then I'm going to leave it to simmer for a good 30 minutes or until the squash is tender. The squash is ready guys, you can see the soup is so creamy. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to transfer all of this into a blender and then you're going to blend it until everything is creamy and smooth.
and there we have it guys it's so creamy it's so smooth and let me tell you the smell it's really really good I can guarantee you this is the best butternut squash soup you'll ever make transfer to a bowl and serve with your homemade baguettes you can find the recipe for the homemade baguettes on my previous video top with more coconut milk fresh parsley and toasted pumpkin seeds enjoy so anyway guys thanks for spending your time with me today i hope you're going to make the butternut squash soup i mean why is it just so hard to say this butternut squash soup yeah I hope you're going to make it and I hope you're going to like it and as usual you can leave your comments down below don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share you can find me on my Instagram at Phil's underscore kitchen or on Facebook at Phil's kitchen uh, till my next video bye